Psalm 74. Plea for help in time of national humiliation. O God, why do you cast us off forever? Why does your anger smoke against the sheep of your pasture? Remember your congregation, which you have gotten of old, which you have redeemed to be the tribe of your heritage. Remember Mount Zion, where you have dwelt. Direct your steps to the perpetual ruins. The enemy has destroyed everything in the sanctuary. Your foes have roared in the midst of your holy place. They set up their own signs for signs. At the upper entrance they hacked the wooden trellis with axes, and then all its carved wood they broke down with hatchets and hammers. They set your sanctuary on fire. To the ground they desecrated the dwelling place of your name. They said to themselves, We will utterly subdue them. They burned all the meeting places of God in the land. We do not see our signs. There is no longer any prophet, and there is none among us who knows how long. How long, O God, is the foe to scoff? Is the enemy to revile your name forever? Why do you hold back your hand? Why do you keep your right hand in your bosom? Yet God my King is from of old, working salvation in the midst of the earth. You divided the sea by your might. You broke the heads of the dragons on the waters. You crushed the heads of Leviathan. You gave him as food for the creatures of the wilderness. You cut open springs and brooks. You dried up ever-flowing streams. Yours is the day, yours also the night. You have established the luminaries and the sun. You have fixed all the bounds of the earth. You have made summer and winter. Remember this, O Lord, how the enemy scoffs, and an impious people reviles your name. Do not deliver the soul of your dove to the wild beasts. Do not forget the souls of your poor forever. Have regard for your covenant, for the dark places of the land are full of the habitations of violence. Let not the humble be put to shame. Let the poor and needy praise your name. Arise, O God, plead your cause. Remember how the impious scoff at you all the day. Do not forget the clamour of your foes, the uproar of your adversaries, which goes up continually.